back to football in Russ. You remember they said, let Russ cook. Uh, it's a slow burn now. Oh, my goodness. The Broncos, well, they have scored under 24 points in all 12 games this season. That's the most consecutive game scoring fewer than 24 points in franchise history. Their play in the red zone hasn't helped. Denver has only scored on 75% of its red zone drives this season. That's the worst red zone scoring percentage in the NFL. Wilson, in particular, has struggled. He's on pace for career lows in QBR, completion percentage, yards per attempt, just to name a few. Boy, his offense, they need to turn things around. I think the biggest thing is we're just trying to find more touchdowns. That's, that's, my, that's my focus. Is doesn't matter how we get them. doesn't matter what we do. Uh, how we do it. Um, we want to be able to give our, our, our team the best chance to win. Always Mr. Positive, uh, but Graz, is Russ damaging that Hall of Fame legacy? Highlights look like the Baker Mayfield highlights <laughs> earlier. I mean, that's not good company to be in. Bad. Yes, I mean, look, one of the – my understanding on Russell Wilson is that he's very legacy conscious, right? Mm -hmm. And that part of the reason he was interested in going to a different team was to establish that, yeah, I, I, am, I am the kind of player that can elevate a franchise as opposed to being elevated by a, a structure around me, which a lot of people felt like he was for a time in Seattle. So, obviously, what's happened so far in Denver is a complete catastrophe. I mean, like, it could not have possibly gone any worse. Uh, so the question is, can he turn it around, right? Like, this year's done, but if they, you know, if they bring, let's say they change coaches, right? Let's say they bring in somebody, right? right. Yeah. Well, we don't, but right. But somebody got to pay for this. Let's say they bring in somebody, he clicks with, a, 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 and, and it gets better. There's certainly time in his career for him to build out that case. But there's no question that this year has damaged it. And, and what's got to be most upsetting is, is, is in a way that he's fully aware of, right? Because he expected this to be something, and it's, it's been Honestly, completely the opposite. I, a word like catastrophe uh, is a fun word to say, but it can get overused. It is, in this case, there is nothing that hasn't gone wrong. Ninko, I, I would say this. Hall of Fame quarterbacks, when they go to another team, they're usually pretty good still. And you think about Manning, I, I really think that the Broncos thought back to that move that they made for Manning, and oh, it brought them to a Super Bowl, and they thought, okay, we're a piece away. Let's go and get one of the best, let's bring him in here, he'll be the catalyst, he'll be a leader, and he'll take us to the next level. Let's pay him. And it's all falling apart. And you think about Tom, even Tom, who leaves the Patriots, goes to the Bucks, wins a Super Bowl, something they hadn't done. So that, that's the biggest issue for me, is if you are a Hall of Fame player, it doesn't matter. You go to another team, you elevate everything else, and you become Basically, the organization, everything's looking at you. Isn't that what Russell was thinking, too? When he, he all, <laughs> said, I want out of Seattle, let me go to a winner and elevate this team and take them to a Super Bowl? Well, that's what Aaron Rodgers was thinking. That's what Deshaun Watson was thinking when he looked at this roster. And listen, how frustrating it is as a defensive player to be probably playing the best defense since, like, the Saints that had Pat Swilling and all those great players. They, they gave up nine, ten points last week and lost. Like, their defense is number one. In the, in, the, in the opposite world, their offense is the same. See, Russell Wilson was supposed to be Patrick Mahomes. He came into the league, won a Super Bowl, and now he's going to become the forgotten quarterback because he was supposed to be the bridge from Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and be that next great young star. He's been surpassed by Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Herbert, and right now, Tua Tunga Valoa. Like, and he has to account for that. You know, I mean, his legacy is forever damaged, and I thought he was a Hall of Famer before. Man, how, what great of a coach is Pete Curl? Because he's doing miracles with Geno Smith. So are we blaming Russ, but are we blaming Nathaniel Hackett? At the beginning of the season, we were talking about his play calling. We were talking about his game management. Can't be that let me, Hold on, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, like, great players, over, like, they, they can overcome bad coaching. No player should look. If you're talking about a guy who aspires to be a Hall of Fame player, there's no way you should look this bad. We can sit. People out there can try to blame Nathaniel Hackett. I'm sorry. This falls on the player. And this is very revealing as far as Russell Wilson is concerned because I look at it two ways. One, you make this blockbuster trade and you have this stinker of a, of, you know, stinker of a, of a, of a season – I don't think that ever gets wiped away. You talk about time. I don't think it. I don't think this will ever be wiped away as far as memory. And what compounds it all 
is Geno Smith balling in <laughs> yeah. Seattle. Yeah, That's what tough. makes this whole thing yeah, it even it worse. worse. Could be the uh, worst right. free agent pickup right now it's in the trade. history they gave him a of first, football. Two first and gave him a quarter, but Billy. That's a great Ooh. point because Geno Smith looks great in Seattle great. right now. Someone got to pay he for that. He wanted his way out Someone of there. Someone got to pay for that. All right, coming up, much more on the